I think there's so many challenges doing journalism because a lot of people who you are trying to find out about don't really want to share the truth with you necessarily. I mean, some people do. But as a result of people wanting to present the story in their own way, and you know there's other things going on behind the scenes, each and every story has uh, challenges. Now sometimes there's so many different types of journalism, of course. So even when you're just doing something like interviewing a politician, that's really challenging because they've been asked those questions numerous times. So the challenge is to how to ask the right questions. It's quite a big one. Um, the challenge is, is how to speak to people who are prepared to tell you something else, finding guests who will tell you something else, who know also what's really going on instead of speculating. So in the sort of um, rough world of daily journalism, if you like, there's one set of challenges. I've only named two, but one can go on. But in investigative journalism, it's altogether a different set of challenges because you need to get documents, you need solid evidence, you need to test a hypothesis, and sometimes it doesn't always um, prove to be true. Uh, and it's often months and months and months of work. So there's, there's different types of journalism. One shouldn't uh, mix them up. Um, and they have all kinds of different challenges. Online journalism has a whole other different set of challenges when you're trying to be fast. That has challenges about accuracy. Uh, it has challenges about authenticity of your sources, uh, of the pictures. So there's, I think journalism is really a very difficult uh, job to do well. Uh, and, and of course, not everybody does it well. Um, the figures also show that the number of journalists who are killed probably doing investigations is going up. It's not quite clear, this figure, but it looks to be the case. So it's not safer. What is, though, very important to say is that in response to the danger, initiatives like the Daphne Project are absolutely brilliant because they're telling the perpetrators of this violence against journalism, people trying to shut down the media, that actually we're not going to stop just because you killed the main reporter in this story. We're going to keep going. We're going to support each other. We're going to work together, even across borders, which is the case with Daphne Project and others. We're going to work across borders. We're going to uh, become advocates. Um, and we're not going to settle until we find out what happened.